There's a spy in our midst. But what's the reason of their spying? What are they profiting from this spying? Well, they might just be paid in luxury bags and luxury goods. And this spy might be powerful. And it might just be spying on the American government and reporting to another entity in exchange for luxury goods. Isn't that the fashion bunker caper we were all waiting for? Talk about the caper. Linda says, what? I want to be a spy. <laughs> Everybody wants to be a spy for the Birkin, honey. Let's talk about it. Subscribe to my channel here on the tubes. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today. Get access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon. Super Deca Ball spelled together there as well for extra perks. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. I live stream several times a week. Come join the fun. Come join the chats. Thank you to my co-members who are here in the chats right now with us. Everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, not rooted in truths or facts. Everything's alleged and just my opinion. So, you guys, I know it's election year and everything is super complicated, but I just find it so fascinating that in an election year, news like this pops out. Yes, allegedly, NBC News reports. None less than. <laughs> Kate Moore says, is it Bethany Frankel? No, 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 she's not. No, no, we're talking about something deeper and more sinister, more sinister, but it's a doozy. Listen to this. Former White House official, let that sink in, accused of acting as South Korea agent for luxury gifts. You guys, the name alone is, I just, I don't know. I'm, I, how can I say the name with, with a straight face? Okay. The lady's name is Sumi Terry. <laughs> no. And they're going to sue her. <laughs> how can you, like, how can the name... Already, it's like she's been marked at birth, and they're like, one day, you'll be sued. <laughs> Sue me, Terry. Sue me, Terry advocated uh, South Korean policy positions and disclosed non-public U.S. government information to South Korean intelligence officers, according to an indictment, and I gotta say, allegedly. But cha, Sue me, Terry, you couldn't choose another name. Girl. Listen to this. A, a foreign policy uh, specialist who once worked for the CIA and on the White House National Security Council has been indicted on U.S. charges that she worked as an unregistered agent of South Korea's government in exchange for luxury goods and other gifts. Sue me, Terry. <laughs> I cannot say this thing without laughing. Advocated South Korean policy positions disclosed non-public U.S. government information to South Korean intelligence offices and facilitated access for South Korean government officials to their U.S. counterparts, according to an indictment made public on Tuesday in Manhattan Federal Court. And listen, and I mean, and she got paid, honey, allegedly. Honey, listen to this. In return for being a little sci sci spy, the South Korean intelligence officers allegedly provided Sumi Terry with, <clears throat> are you ready for this? Cue in Maria Draganova singing, ta 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 Bottega Veneta, and Louis Vuitton handbags. Period, honey. A Dolce e Gabbana coat, Oh, she went there. Oh, she went there. You know that Dolce Gabbana spy looking, you know, 
the sexy coat from Dolce Gabbana. Dinners at Michelin restaurants, Michelin starred restaurants, and more than $37,000 in covert funding for a public policy program on Korean affairs that she ran. The indictment contains surveillance camera images of Sue Mi Terry awaiting or carrying a gift bag while the officers pay at Bottega Veneta and as the officers pay at Louis Vuitton in Washington in 2019 and 2021, respectively. So 2021, that was already lockdown. So she was shopping during the lockdown, Hanny. Oh, yes, Hanny. <laughs> Terry's alleged work as an agent began in 2013, two years after she left U.S. government employment and lasted a decade, even after FBI agents warned her in 2014 that South Korean intelligence might try to offer to, cov to covertly pay for events. <laughs> FBI is like, sue me. You don't want your name to become program. Be careful. They might want to corrupt you. Cinnamon Roll says, I mean, just that. If I risk my butt, I want at least a Birkin for every info I share. Cinnamon Roll. Why are we like this? Why are we so corruptible for a Birkin? This is so sad. This is the reality uh, that we're finding ourselves in. This is the life. This is the life. Uh... You know, <laughs> Patricia's like, I'll bet she got the D&G lace black trench coat. Sexy spy attire. She is now a senior fellow at the Council of Foreign Relations, according to the, uh, the Think Tank's website, and an expert on East Asia and the Korean Peninsula, including North Korea. Terry did not immediately respond to a request for comment, but her lawyer, Lee Woloski, said in a statement, these allegations are unfounded and distort the work of a scholar and news analyst known for her independence and years of service to the United States. In fact, she was a harsh critic of the South Korean government during times this indictment alleges that she was acting on its behalf. Once the facts are made clear, it will be evident the government made a significant mistake, he added. The Council of, on Foreign Relations put Sumi Terry on unpaid administrative leave and will cooperate with any investigation, a spokeswoman said. Now, um, South Korea, they say, is not a defendant. Its Washington embassy did not immediately respond to requests for comment, and Seoul's National Intelligence Service and Foreign Ministry said they did not immediately have comment. The office of U.S. Attorney Damian Williams in Manhattan did not respond to similar requests. Now, the indictment also alleges that Terry has published multiple opinion pieces at the request from Seoul officials, including in April 2023, when she received $500 for writing an article praising the results of a summit between Presidents Joe Biden and Yoon Suk Yeol for a South Korean newspaper. $500? Why would Sumi risk her whole career for $500? I don't get it. The indictment also, I mean, according to Terry's online biography, she's a frequent guest on TV, radio, and podcasts and has testified multiple times before congressional panels, born in Seoul and raised in Virginia, Terry was a senior CIA analyst from 2001 to 2008. So she also worked for the CIA. And now she's selling herself for a Bottega Veneta bag and $500? Come on! Uh, and she was a director of Korean Japan and Oceanic Affairs at the NSC from 2008-2009 under Republican President George W. Bush and Democratic President Barack Obama. She now lives in New York, her biography says. The indictment charges Sue Mi Terry with failing to register under the Foreign Agents Registration Act and conspiring to violate that law. It says she acknowledged in a voluntary June 2023 FBI interview that she was a source for South Korea's intelligence service, meaning that she provided valuable information. Now, you guys, honestly, though, 
007 luxury, says Sibylla. Aisha says she knows how to bring home the Birkin. Does she, though? Because they're not alleging that she brought home the Birkin. They're alleging that she brought home a Bottega Veneta and a Louis Vuitton bag. Ah, Finley, definitely counterintelligent. <laughs> I see what you did there, Finley. That's a classic. No, but seriously, think about it. I mean, you know how you know what they say. Everybody has their price. Maybe Sumi's price was very low. I don't know. But then, the moral integrity of it all. Really, would you risk your whole livelihood, your reputation, your life? You might spend your life behind bars for what? A Bottega Veneta and a Louis Vuitton bag? And eating in four, five, three star Michelin star hotel uh, restaurants? Getting $500 for writing an article praising some summit? Meeting between a president and another president? Yana Klar is asking, does the CIA pay that poorly? I mean, at this point, I don't really know. I mean, it's, it's kind of shocking to me. But then it made me think, maybe we who love luxury, you know, luxury products and content, maybe we're the ones who are brainwashed. Because we've been told by Chanel, a bag is $10,000, a bag is now $10,000, our bag is now $12,000, our bag is now $13,000, that we now think that, you know, a $3,000 bag is like peanuts, because we're just so brainwashed to thinking that $10,000 is the, that's the, that's the price now, <laughs> you know? And so I think maybe we're also kind of like not seeing this properly. I think the, think of it this way, the people that are judging her and the people that are kind of prosecuting her are people who probably also have government salaries that do not allow them to purchase certain products. So for them to just read from a report of, let's say, cameras recording, security cameras recording her going to these shops, for them probably just seeing the fact that she got a Bottega Veneta bag is like, oh my God, look at her, corrupt. When If I would see her with a Bottega Veneta bag, I would be like, girl, that's all you got? <laughs> I would be like, wait, like, really? <laughs> I would be like, wait, hold on. Wait, listen to that. Listen to that. You did all this for a bodega man and that? Girl, it doesn't even hold its value. The poverty. <laughs> the poverty of this spy. And Mahora is like, maybe she a coach kind of gal, <laughs> right? Maybe maybe there's there's some coachation going on there. Maybe she's originally into coach and she's like, oh, let me step it up a notch. I'm going to do Bottega next time. I'm like, the poverty. Uh, I am blessed, says I'm with you, Jacob. If you're implying that it doesn't make a lot of sense, the math just ain't mathin'. Give up your career and your freedom for a couple of mid-range bags and five-star dinners. No, right? Thank you. Thank you. And Sibylla says, we need an opera series show of this. Would be the sex and the city of the moment. Oh, my God. Okay. I mean, I would love it. Fabulous, sexy female spies and some men, too. Working in the government, dressed, not like the cheap brands. No, no, no. Just like Carrie Bradshaw in Sex and the City. Who can afford on a writer's, on a column, a column? Harlem writer salary, like Carrie Bradshaw had, okay, who on a column writer salary can afford all the shit that she could afford in that show? That show messed with our minds. Before social media even, that show distorted our reality completely and made us believe that we can live on a $10 budget being dressed from head to toe in designer goods. We'll go, we'll go, I-Y-K-Y-K. -Y -K. Now, let's do that today. In this scenario, with the election and this and that, imagine the four spies in the government working on government salaries, dressed to the nines every day, sharing intel from what happened at the CIA and the FBI and the governments. What did Biden say in his sleep? Because at this point, when we see him talking, he's... <laughs> he's... <laughs> he's talking in his sleep at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and also, can we, 
Get his election. Yeah, you got to make fun of both parties. Okay, you're my, you like my shtick on my ear? <laughs> Look, it's Chanel, you guys. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Cinnamon Roll says the South Korean government maybe is broke, so they hired the cheapest spy. <laughs> One of them talking in their sleep. Listen, Linda, you never know what he's going to give away when he talks in his sleep. He might give away some really important intel while he's asleep for free. <laughs> so maybe South Korea is thinking, let's just uh, yeah, let's just listen to what he has to say while he's sleeping. Maybe we're going to get some intel for free. I don't know. Anyway, guys, love you loads. Thank you for watching. Thumb up this video. It was all meant just for fun. I wish all the candidates all the best and all the luck. Uh, love you loads. Subscribe, thumb up the video. Never give up on love. Bye.